Hi folks, we have some more action uh, for you from the Trans World Cup, from the semi-final stage. And it's time to continue with Catalonia and Austria. I think we've uh, covered two games already, the two that Austria won, that was the first two. And then Catalonia earlier today uh, won their night such game against uh, Lenny. Rains. I joined too late to record anything meaning, meaningful from that because uh, uh, Nicholas conceded quite early because there was simply nothing he could do once the wall of defense was assembled. So it's 2-1 ahead of this game. It's going to be Grey Joe Winter against uh, Tarek Brotherhood. And we're going to have a quick look if there's anything weird in here. So normal Grey Joe Winter, no bloody cups in this one. Has read in the bad lines and rhymes with me. I'm really not sure why. Uh, People are uh, kind of sticking with this uh, set of events without bloody cup. Seems like it's natural. It should naturally be in there. Uh, nothing weird. So this is one of the decks that replaced uh, Dagmer. Well, there's one Dagmer still uh, with uh, Ralph Canning and some some other stuff uh, to make room for Ralph. But the rest is pretty much uh, still the deck that was um, doing well at Starek. And. Uh, yeah, the, the only Tark Brotherhood in the field, for some reason, people not stealing this one from Reinhardt. It's, um, well, both uh, of them play for Snow. This one also plays Mad King's Command and has way better initiative. Well, it has the Maiden and then the Blots themselves, so also pretty good. Another two claimer here. The problem is going to be getting around the choke, of course. If uh, the choke holds, then characters like Jukan Hagar, the costly ones, will be difficult to play out, maybe the five costers like Tormund are kind of the limit and uh, Varamir six skins, one of the key ones for Reinhardt also plays uh, put to the sword which he can trigger extremely easily, seems uh, slightly undeserved at times but you know, people get uh, characters killed with that and uh, there's no way back of course Queen's guards are here and plenty of attachments to absorb but nothing burns and uh, yeah, locations as well. Not not that many non-limited. So Hollow Hill could get discarded. Uh, there's a copy of Plaza and two cards in play as well. No negative attachments for Glacier, so card will be basically a dead location. And yes, I have a recording of the game. It was um, played just now. I actually struggled to record it live. So there is an issue lately on the Iron Throne where it won't let you change the size of the cards and then when I'm trying to record on my laptop it's uh, slightly problematic because I have it set to uh, large and on my laptop they, the cards just cover uh, each other because they're too big and uh, it's unplayable and uh, unrecordable basically unless you zoom out somehow and um, yeah it's uh, it's been an issue so I just recorded it and I have a uh, uh, recording here that I can comment it on. Hopefully that gets uh, fixed in the near future. But uh, let's have a look at how the game went. Yeah, Brotherhood can be slightly annoying with the agenda here. Gets Intimidate on Demand if they go first. And get Stealth if something which needs to be pushed through can get Insight. If you're running out of cards, late game sometimes renown, or if there's a duped character, get renown. Although renown is really the last thing you get when you're already close to winning, or if time expires or something. But I don't think I've ever seen this Stark brother who really go to time. And Just imagine maybe you would take renown if you're playing against something like Hollow, Matter Hollow Kill, and you want to. Close as possible, something yeah, like if that. Yeah, you were within each other, otherwise you would take yeah. inside like crazy. Ah, excellent uh, speed of uh, loading <laughs> the images. Brilliant. That's not the Iron Thrones part, that's the part of my internet connection. <laughs> so we have Tormund there alone. There's no march to be fair for him. Plus, I know Econ that's worrying for Einhard because on the other side there's a dupe Ralph in play. And the save in the form of uh, Meister Kerwin. But uh, uh, what's with the Nightflyer? Did he. Um, so, yeah, it costs one to. S yeah, it costs one to um, set up like this. And he did spend all eight. So, just wanted to get him play to draw an extra card, it seems. 
could have uh, not set up the reducer and just marshal this into shadows. Get rid of additional recon. I think maybe he has another one and it's going to play nothing but anyway. Maybe he miscalculated a little bit. I think if you already could uh, use seven gold and then click on night flyer, it's just going to set it up automatically and miscalculate. Yeah, of course. Well, Angu and Brown and Plum is not the best for Reinhardt. Brown and Plum with no gold will discard itself or himself. But only five gold on the other side. Ah, there we are, so we got something big in. And there's your one. Dooped. <laughs> yeah, it will be difficult to get a location, probably there's nothing in the discard pile yet, and no gold to play with or not so. Imagine uh, taking that plaza though. Can you push anything meaningful through? If Angu takes stealth, I guess he does. And they can stealth past Euron and then Tormund has Print it intimidate. They start past uh, Ra because Euron himself actually doesn't win on defense. Yeah, if you let it go, then I think Euron gets intimidated. To defend, Martin gets intimidated, but then Euron isn't winning a challenge back. So, either way, I'm probably just going to leave the dupes here because uh, it's nothing protected for Reinhardt, and there is a Mogolis opportunity. I mean, there's Karin as well, so I could take one of the dupes. There's the reducer. Discard screens, but interesting choice. Maybe things it's too expensive right now, or even there's um, that nothing burns like before that uh, gets rid of it anyway, so it's quite an investment. There is a card in Shadows, which it's, could be yeah, a, another yeah, Queen's Guard, but then. You wouldn't discard a second one, right? If you're worried about nothing bonus. Or could be just kindly man in shadows. I think this old be bone in the deck as well. Not sure. No pinches, right? So it's got rid of Ralph as well. Lots of work done by this uh, Tormund and Plaza. It's one copy of Plaza, and it's a, it's a good location to just get. If Nightflyer wasn't set up, it could get rid of Plaza. Mm -hmm. And okay, he loses eager deck, and that's not the worst thing. But now, Pupuzera can't really push any challenges back. Best he can do is attack to die dominance. Yeah, and honestly, I think uh, either left hand um, would be a good one if you were thinking that maybe you play early Morghulis, but with so many icons. 
Don't want the Nango to do very strong characters. Reinhardt can play I think a six guard plot. Pretty popular if you really see him. The choke won't really work. Ralph uh, doesn't work. The agenda doesn't work on Rugulis because it's not an interplot. Oh, and there's a, an archivist here. Good card to get as well, especially if Balon is around. He's not at the moment, but Euron is and uh, yeah, Prince Guard shuffled back now. Goes for early Morghulis into at the gates. So do we grab gates of the moon? That's a king's road, so one time he can boost, it goes away. And spends curving to keep you undupped. Makes sense. Well, I bet he wishes he could Mughul is such a kind of guy away. It's a token as well. You can't get rid of him now with no claim and no bloody cups in the deck. And okay, you can say he's not strong as strong as my two guys, but the problem is he can take stat with the agenda and then can push anything through really. <laughs> has to have that one copy of Plaza in play as well, so that he can do two challenges. <laughs> Mm. Not just the one, he can do two. Actually, uh, well, Ralph is there unprotected at the moment, if, unless there's a reason. Uh, but he can uh, get the Euron as well, maybe. Well, dupes for two key characters plus Kervin, not entitled to draw a reason as well, I see. He would be entitled to some you could draw. <laughs> well, he's. Had the uh, King's Roads. Two of them, I think. Well, Chicken is going to do as much damage as he can while he's in play. And then he's a seven coster, so Plaza. Needs to discard, I think, a four cost card. You can't just miss Sunday mm -hmm. him back to a standing situation. And uh, defense because he's going. Yeah. Ooh, and hits Balon for the injury claim. Yeah, no, see, there aren't that many. Um... I mean, you have Varamir, I think, in the deck. That's five cards that could send him. If you have a dead form, that's great. And then maybe if you have um, Lady Stoneheart, but I think Lady Stoneheart would be really valuable to match with that. Mm. Although I'm not sure if you can ever match the six coster again now that you've done that thing as well. Sure, sure there's Ygritte as well. Ygritte's got five cards though. Ygritte's um, four. Four, yeah. So, oh yes, you can stay here. Plays Nightmares on Euron, he would have taken uh, King's Road, which was uh, really good, given Grage's lack of Econ. But uh, of course, Reinhardt has Nightmares, always does. You can all alone though, but uh, can you get rid of him? Because you... With this deck you struggle with the initiative, of course. Well, yeah, Reinhardt was, has uh, much, but uh, Grage's entire doesn't have much. No. There was a lot of discussion ahead of this tournament about how Greyjoy Winter is super broken and there's no opportunity cost, everything fits in perfectly, but of course there is. You can't play yeah, proper plots. So. I agree. I mean, I think losing the initiative consistently, I mean consistently, but um, really bad initiative basically, I think, mm -hmm. on most of Winter plots, 
to be the results that Nuri Initiative guaranteed, and then you have been the festival, it's not brilliant for the initiative, you don't have Maida. Um, I don't know, maybe you don't play silence into the worship package that have the initiative boost, so not there, so also all the other um, the long sheets don't work, so it's harder to push other posts through. Yeah, it yeah. definitely it's not um, like uh, completely like um, whatever to play to with the results. It's, uh, when I tried playing, I, I, I didn't. Uh, I, I mean, it's obviously a strong guy, but. Uh, yeah. It is strong, but uh, people pretending like you're going to play winter plots anyway, and you're fine. You weren't, right? You're going to play the Greyjoy High Initiative, go first, do damage stuff. Yeah, because I think the only really guaranteed initiative is basically on nothing burns, right? And even yeah. that's not guaranteed. Yeah, Ryan has played the Maiden, so he beats it with a six one, uh, with something like uh, Actually, no, he has um, nice uh, oh, some initiative. So doesn't go for nothing bonus to get rid of Plaza because Queen's got this at the moment not to play. Although uh, Jukant guys, I mean it's yeah, annoying. Dangerous, yeah. And it's the Smith which stops any econ being played. So five gold plus the winter reserves is all that Pupuzida has here. And let's mm. see. Okay, can get rid of Queen's guard. There's also Jora and another nightmares to stop Euron if he was going to take a King's Road. Well, I think taking Jorah makes some sense because uh, still only having one character on the board is um, a bit scary. But if he takes Queen's Guard now on him, he's just yeah. going to murder everyone, right? Well, Euron. He's <laughs> going to murder Euron. He's going to murder Euron, yes. And possibly do a military claim as well. There is Jorah. It makes some sense because you're counting on getting rid of that Queen's Guard with nothing bonus if you can just survive for that long, but... Well, yeah. that was the card in Shadows and there's another one in hand now, so oops. And uh, Kindly Man, okay, if you let problem. Kindly Man stand, it works really well with Jukan Hagar, so... Yeah, I mean, you can't really, I mean, Kindly Man is one of those cards that is easy to stand with. Um, with Plaza, right? You can discard him Sunday, you can discard whatever. My duped Gorod, so some work to be done. And now, surely, Greyjoy, even suffering some Jukan Hagar stuff, can at least do military back to kill, to kill kind men. I mean, um, if you do. Two challenges with a can, it's going to be hard. Because it's going to kill you, and um, can do another military plane? Maybe not. Hmm, it's Asha. Asha goes for plane. There wasn't enough gold to march for this. Yeah, one. but next round would have been okay. And there was a dead torment, so. Stand uh, with Plaza, even he was a screen's guard, and this one also now cannot be defended. No, I don't put scouts in play for Pupazira, that's uh, unfortunate. Now Euron's going, can defend himself because he started. Hmm. Yeah, and the like, Queen's guard doesn't have any limit. That's limit. Three, two, ten. <laughs> but I Doesn't have any <laughs> realistic limit. He can <laughs> stand and do all three. Well, I mean, if he stands them again, he's winning military, but then um, it's actually not enough to get uh, to defend. But even now, it's not enough to defend, right? Mm -hmm. Kind man is doing the yeah, So now it's going to be if he defends this one, they have enough to defend against Gorod's whatever challenge he does. You could try to defend with Gorod and hope he stands. Hmm. 
Okay. Well, I mean, it will cost two cards to stand both of them. Yeah, but also give another token. Then they defend themselves. Goral gets the token. Yeah, and then the uh, Bodily Crew gets the token when they stand in the standing phase, right? But you are down to one card with for um, yeah. Prince Guard. I mean, it's still enough. If you win initiative and just repeat. Well, the yeah, only way to avoid is... this was basically to kill Goral's dupe and then do military for eight. That that leaves still Jukan Hagar alive. Yeah, I mean, or at best, I suppose, um, defend with Gorold and hope he stands, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, the chances in, against this deck are lower than usual. This card's a Lower than usual, I think they're... Another uh, Nightmares. Yeah. Well, it plays Econ, some Hollow Hills, there's a Plaza card. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's not... I wouldn't say lower than usual, it's pretty average. Uh, but yeah... So he's going to defend Kindman. And man. actually, the yeah the last card should be Queen's Guard now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you play nothing burns, this would have gone better with Nightflyer uh, getting rid of Plaza in mm -hmm. early game. Although then some stuff wouldn't have been in play. I mean, you wouldn't you couldn't start with the Duke Turan there if you had to also get uh, Nightflyer played. Five, two, Grager <laughs> currently has slight card advantage. Reinhardt no longer using his cards though, he's just going to uh, keep doing this broken interaction with Jukan Hagar, right, if he is uh, allowed to. So now you play Nothing Burns, Plaza goes, Queen's Guard goes, that's two stands gone, but you get Queen's Guard back and then you have two cards to use it. If in the meantime, Purpozilla gets, uh, let's say, some, I don't know, it's fishmongers and some random stuff like that to have a bit of a bond. Yeah, maybe, um, you know, one or two of those um, locations. One or two of scouts. those locations. So yeah, yeah, that come in with uh, also one of those uh, eager deckhands. Yeah, but Reiner is going to then do Intrigue to kill Gorold. He's going to take Stealth to kill him on power, and then he's still threatened military. Maybe you should try marshalling some characters with Stealth that can be Stealthed. Ooh, okay. Place mm -hmm. March, so now Kindly Man is gone. That leaves Chicken a little bit more exposed, but also Botley Crew is gone. Yeah. And yeah, p probably uh, the, the point here was to, to beat that nothing bonus for initially, right? Because mm -hmm. you would need to defend Chicken and restand him if you wanted to do this. Yeah, again. and also I think now you get um, enough for to remark from Queen's Guard and even have some leftover if you played um, the other high initiative that would be um, City Besiege that would basically but if you're on the board, leave you no board to even, I think even Marshall will finish that, right? Yeah, it'll be short, so. It'll be very short, I think you get one gold from yeah. that. Yeah. You have one gold left over. Mm hmm. And even Marshall, a uh, Targaryen loyalist. Is it for Targaryen loyalist, right? Yes. <laughs> I don't know, I forget what it is, it's gonna call it something. Can't mention anything though. Because you need the two cards for the chicken, for Queen's Guard to stand him, right? Mm-hmm. What? There's some characters. Well, the annoying thing is, he also, Lucas, caught, also can stealth as a chicken if he takes stealth. And the card in Shadows for a zero. But he could also go for Intimidate, possibly, right? Could be rhymes with Nick or something like that. Could be another night flyer. Mm, take so stealth. Do you stealth better than going for the intimidation? I don't know, I guess he has to, I mean, 
Yeah, he has to defend himself. Yeah, but if you go power, you win the right one. Go into the, into the other. I know that's not that will happen. Yeah, I think it was possible to do that as well. Great crit, and the last card that wasn't super useful now stands again. So he's taken one loop from Gorold. Gorold's now exposed. Yeah, and, and he, he can, can do military, military, so that's yeah. going to be claim as well. So then I suppose Lucas will be alone. But let's see, Thread can do another one. Yeah, that's why I said maybe Intimidate would be better. Because it have similar effect. Mm. I, or you get one less unopposed, probably. But you also don't need that extra card um, to say, I mean. You could save the extra card that you could stand him again and do another challenge. Okay, so this is another one <coughs> forcing him to get rid of the last card, which is not this Sunday. Slightly like stone heart. Yes, he has to spend his hands. He's getting two every round, so. Yeah, but I think like stone heart would honestly, if it was early on, it would be also a problem for the See, I don't think he, he cares now about any cards being uh, marshaled at this point. So can play City Besieged, wins initiative, and if it's not properly opposed, which I don't see how it can be with stealth, I mean, you have some I mean, stealth. Well, but... now if this is a stealth one, and if, um, I know, somebody stealth doesn't work with stealth. But Even if you I top deck two Iron Plicked Scouts, you can't save him anymore, right? Yeah, I think... Um, well, if you top like two Iron Fleet Scouts, well, actually, yeah, if you go second, doesn't matter. Hagen's Daughter, I don't think he's in the deck. I play some Hagen's Daughter in my um, Graduate Winter. If it's Dagmar, I think Dagmar has stealth. So Dagmar yeah. and this guy could defend, but the problem is you can take Intimidate and um, Intimidate on the power card, whatever the record is first. Mm -hmm. So I think Reinhardt will pass. Unless he can marshal one and, and just with the one Jagan Hagar stand do the same kind of damage. Yeah. I think if there was a way you can take inside, but I don't think there is a way to do that in Timon I mean, depends on how the way they were. Or if there's nothing you could take inside and just do a normal military. Well, maybe he just missed out there anyway. Hmm. Seven gold and Asha. Marshall, unfortunately, her dupe was discarded earlier. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this doesn't help, does it? Last card has to somehow no. be a reason now. I think you, you would need at least now one Iron Fleet Scout as well. Yeah, reason would be. I mean, but the problem is he's also going to have Intimidate. Which means that he go first on power. And kind of, yeah, because if you have now just one Iron Fleet Scout, you can defend the power at least. Something. Hmm. And Asha triggers. And uh, that, that doesn't help. Well, if Asha triggers, maybe you find reason and then you can kind of maybe play from there. Mm. He does intrigue first with two climb and then military. Uh -huh. Because he can do all three challenges with King, Queen's Guard because he has no limit. Uh, and Nightmares don't even work with Queen's Guard. He has the same kind of limit as Victorian Grage, a really strong limit that really prevents you from <laughs> triggering it. <laughs> Barely, you barely, barely trigger it, right? You just, you feel what, four or five triggers and then you're done. I mean, it's pretty sad. <laughs> At least you can nightmare Victorian, but you can nightmare um, Queen's Guard. 
you know, it's always the last card. So uh, Vizier just opposes, and then these two, Asha and Lucas, both with stealth, will die to Jaken Hagar. Okay, part of that was the agenda, got the intimidate, mm -hmm. but partly it's just Jaken with Queen's Guard. I mean, he's not even using his ability. At this point, could be any character with five strength, and it would be exactly the same. Well, I mean, the three icons have. Yeah, sure. And this, uh, yeah, brokenness not dealt with in the last restricted list. Targ Brotherhood left yeah, completely I mean, alone. Sorry, that. let me finish my complaint. Left I'm completely sorry. alone. And um. in the meantime, Bara Kohor had to be killed off. Can't play uh, Zorahai and Warhammer on the same character. I mean, it does all challenges and then intimidates, right? That's uh -huh. ridiculous. But you can't regard it with, with Queensguard or Tormund with Queensguard or, or that uh, with. Um, Wildling guy that has the brotherhood inbuilt in him, Varamir. I mean, that's that's perfectly fine, right? Yeah, I mean, and nobody plays this brotherhood deck even. Mm -hmm. I just see like I play it. It's a little weird. It seems super strong. Doesn't take winter festival even because there's no way to protect that power. That's the second winter reserves rather than playing his own first snow. And the yeah, Ryan plays first now anyway. I mean, he doesn't want shots, but if there were, he would just kill them. So, yeah. Well, good game. I mean, Murgulis <laughs> looked good. It looked good for a round here for, for Greyjoy. <laughs> tough game. If, if Reinhardt said tough game to me after this, I would get slightly upset, I think. But okay. <laughs> that was not a tough game. This guy just killed everything because the, the Queen's Guard attachment is completely yeah, broken. Yeah, but, um, it's always scary when you're just playing with um, one character on the board. It's uh, I get the same feeling sometimes when I play some um, Barako or something like that. Well, um, when you look back, it looks like you were dominating the whole time, but it always feels like you left one challenge unopposed and one challenge doesn't go the way you want. And something goes wrong and it's all going to... Very hmm. So it's 3-1 now in favor of Austria mm -hmm. and um, well they need one more to get uh, at least that uh, extra game so we have... Uh, uh, I think Dennis uh, is actually playing crossing against um, Mar uh, Martel Hollow here which yeah. is favorable very much for fact crossing of course you can have bad games, so I'm not going to say out of it anymore because I lost my out of it. Yeah, I mean you could get very... <laughs> Let's say you don't have yeah, a mirror, yeah. you get Verist immediately before you, you crown, yeah. right? It, yes. I mean, if he plays the, one of those crazy rounds in round one, Winter Festival, and get the crossing, and then he crowns, that's you know, game over already. Yeah, the problem is crossing just will have three characters to rematch every round, even if you clear the board every round, if you have some. I mean, there's a chance you'll have something to put on and do at least a power challenge, and if you trigger those, if you play in the mint and then crow. And, mm -hmm. Should, should go and then we have uh, the Austrian Hollow Hill now. This is, I think, yeah. is it? Yeah, yeah. okay. I looked and I also think that should be terrible. Stark, I think, is good against Martel Hollow Hill either way. Um, yes, some that's rationing that's two copies of rationing that that's favorable for Google. Catalonia, yeah. you mean, right? Yeah, yeah, for Catalonia. Okay, so let's let's say. It goes according to plan. So it's 3-1, then Dennis is 4-1, and this is 4-2. Mm -hmm. And then we have the Greyjoy Winter against uh, Tyrell Reigns. Tyrell Reigns is quite tough, actually. Mm -hmm. and Could it has, have good yeah. Tyrell Reigns good. Let's give that one to Catalonia. <laughs> as long as he doesn't play some weird uh, Duharis at the wrong time again. Uh, actually, playing <laughs> Duharis... Playing against Duharis against Greyjoy... It shouldn't yeah. be that uh, bad as it was. Yeah, it's going to be okay. Attack. Much better, yeah. Mm. And uh, so let's say that's 4-3. And uh, Robert, Robert Charvet against... This, I think, is Lenny Manifest God. So Lenny Manifest God against those knights. Oh, I think knights could be okay, but it's a, it's a tough one. So this one will be probably decisive. If Robert can win this, it, uh, and Austria can close. So uh, we... And if not, Saying a slightly in favor of Austria. Yeah. I don't know. 
because it looks like they have um, one, they are on three and have one forever, so at least a draw. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Austria is whole in the match, I think. Well, given that they're leading, I mean, the matchups are not strong enough for Catalonia to just expect to um, to come back super cleanly, but mm -hmm. uh, I think they have a chance to get the draw at least. I mean, a any one of these games is still winnable, so could be interesting. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile, France and uh, China also mm -hmm. are on the way. <laughs> Exhilarating nights, which were even still mirror. Yeah, I couldn't record that, sorry. Uh, it was, um, I, I was out, so, and it was already virtually over when I came back. And uh, uh, so it went uh, the way of Argento, which means it's now 2 1. They needed it from, from to mm -hmm. nail down, and uh, I think we'll be able to record some of those games still. Both teams have uh, some incredible players left, and yeah, we'll uh, look at the matchups maybe when we record one of those. Uh, the games from the other uh, semi-final. So yes, let the bit. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.